What's going on guys? My recorder stopped, so I ended up missing a little bit of gameplay and a little bit of loot, but oh well. At least we're going to have a fourth part. It looks like the third part is most likely uh, unfortunately what's missing, but yeah. Not too big of a deal really on the whole big whole spectrum of things. Um, loot's keeping up pretty decent. Still nothing really nice since the Mastermind Shield at the very beginning, which is pretty unfortunate, but what can you do? But be hopeful and kill them as fast as possible. Nothing really besides that. And this first demon's almost down, getting pretty down there which is nice. He's always the biggest pain in the ass, just taking care of him and then uh, making sure in the meantime you don't lure the other ones into uncomfortable positions for yourself. And down he goes. The whole two ultimate health potions. So definitely going to be profiting this hunt, just not sure by how much. Uh, 94 great mana potions left and 400 SDs about so it's several more hellhounds and several more demons that's for damn sure but uh, really we don't know what they're gonna drop yet I could end up leaving with what I have now but you know hopefully loot keeps improving I would be amazed if I got a Demon Rage Sword uh, last hunt and a uh, MPA this hunt. That would just blow my mind and make me so happy. I would love a fourth MPA. Because um, the three I have, I am currently using all of them. Two of them are my front door deco, and the other one is on my night. So as his actual armor. But, yeah, that'll probably change soon. I'm probably going to get him Yalahari armor, uh, which is better, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. I know it boosts something, like uh, death protection and something else, I'm pretty sure. I just can't remember what to save the life of me. And unfortunately get paralyzed there after that haste was helping quite a bit actually um, especially when recording because like I said unfortunately the program does slow down slow me down a little bit but if I can get haste in and stuff it, it's about that it's actually about how I move regularly without the program on so of course I'm gonna move a little bit slower than uh, people at my level or a little under it with the program running if I don't have any boosting stuff. But I'm going to have to switch back to Ring of Healings as we are looking really low on those great mana potions. Although we did just get some more, so that's always cool. 12 minutes left on that. Um, 41 charges, so still haven't even gone through the first amulet. And there's a demon right upstairs, I'm pretty sure. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, looks like nope, actually. Weird. But the Dragon Lord's here, I'm sure. Yep. So we'll bring him back just to take him down with avalanches along with these guys. Which has pretty much been the procedure for quite a minute now and switching to explosions just to conserve those avas and DL down let's see six minutes and 43 seconds we have an hour left on our softs so those will definitely last until the end of this hunt and I do have another pair that's almost full so not really a big deal either way and last I checked I was at 22% to level, which is pretty nice. Um, and like I said before, 266 will be a new... Uh, 
oh boy, I'm forgetting words now, a new, um, geez. Anyways, it's a new accomplishment at the very least. It's a new achievement. It's something I haven't done yet. And I've been stuck on 265 for a while between my computer being shitty, the servers being bad, and, um, you know, and myself making mistakes while hunting and dying because of it and then trying to go back and then dying because Sipsoft, for some reason, still can't handle their servers properly. So, it just seemed like for quite a while there it was always something and it just got old quick. Ooh, and that was a heavy hit. I should not have used Exura there. Um, that's alright though. All's well that ends well. And another heavy hit. Really light hit. Another light hit. That's how they get you comfortable though. They do the terrible damage and then they do a couple rounds of heavy damage it seems. Alright, so we're gonna pox and grab this one. And there he is. So I found that the best method of uh, taking this one out is taking him this way, it seems. And then I use a uh, E beam off screen there. And this is where it gets a little bit complicated, but not too bad. Just gotta keep avoiding those waves. And this is actually a good spot for it. They did a really nice job of designing this area with that in mind for the player. Um, at least it seems so. And we're going to take a look down in the lower BP and see how we're doing with that. Um, 20 fire mushrooms, 58 stars, 4 hellhound slobbers, 4 essences, 3 dusts. So yeah, it's looking much better. And 12 black pearls, which are a mix of the hellhound and demon skeletons. Real nice. 21% to level, and... Hmm, this demon still isn't back. Okay, so we're just going to take out the dragon lord and the demon skeleton. Um, wait for him. And I'm going to use icicles to conserve SDs for demons and hopefully that demon will be spawned. If not, we can always catch him on the way back up. The ones under him, I'm sure, are spawned. Yep, that's what's looking like it's gonna happen. That's all right. All right, so, of course, the melee one. Always a pain. But, not too bad, and we are running pretty low on avalanches, I think. Um, I didn't even get to see how many I had left right there. Um, 76 great mana potions, so yeah, compared to 340 SDs, definitely need to do some work with that. Um, and hopefully those Ring of Healings will last long enough to at least let me use another 250 SDs, hopefully. And plus, you know, we don't know if we're going to loot any mana pots out of demons. That's actually a pretty good chance, so hopefully that happens. And no dust. And we'll grab this one. And take out the fire elemental lingering with him. So 75 avalanches, so that's really not much left at all. Compared to 332 SDs. So I'm going to have to try to use explosions more frequently, especially when the situation doesn't really call for me using an avalanche. And like right now, it really doesn't... I don't need to. I could, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to hold off for a little bit. Try to conserve. And he's almost down. And down he goes. Grab that plat. 
so I think we're at like a hundred and yeah, 130 plats too, which is pretty much all thanks to the Hellhounds. Very, very partially thanked to demons. Um, but they usually only drop one plat, if any. So yeah, can't say it's all on them. Way more on the Hellhounds and killed way less of them. So that's pretty nice. And using avalanches here is certainly appropriate as, you know, we want to take out everything and the Dragon Lord does pose a threat. And we use an explosion to take out that extra fire elemental with him. And I'm definitely going to need to put a new ring of healing on here shortly, so I'm going to pay attention to that. And sixty-eight great mana pots left. That's no good. Um, one more SD and a couple icicles, and he's gone. Okay. At the same time, we lose the ring, which is fine. And another emerald, and we'll see if we can get a skin. And just now getting 306 million experience, um, I think that's a new record for me. I'm not totally sure though, so. But I'm pretty sure this is around where I was when I died the last time. So, yeah. Very close to getting that, and I'm looking forward to it. That way I can be done with this level hump. Have you guys ever had um, a level area that you were stuck on for an extended period of time for whatever reason, whether it be a mixture of things or just straight lag or, um, you know, whatever it may be? Definitely let me know in the comments because it seems like a couple of my guildmates have been in similar situations and were currently in one when I was in one. And I'm hoping that I'm out of it now. Very much so hoping that. Oh. And this has got 26 charges left, so really not too many. And using a strong energy strike where it's worth using. And that might not have been the smartest move, but that's all right. I think it was worth it, and avalanches are definitely worth using here. Um, because these things will get in the way and be annoying, and we get a black pearl out of the demon skelly. Always nice. Of course, I haven't seen a guardian shield out of a demon skeleton in a super long time, even with the huge amount that I kill here. which. Arguably, it's not the biggest demon skeleton spawn, but it is a pretty large one. And it does house quite a few, uh, as we can see. And that one had 57 gold coins. So, nothing of use to me, really. And this one's almost down. One icicle, and boom. Awesome. So let's see, uh, we'll skin this for fun, and we'll skin him, just a double axe, oh, and we do get a dust, awesome. So I think that's number four, yes it is, cool, that's actually really cool. And I think the black pearl one is right here, yep, sweet, and down to hellhounds we go. And there's that one. And I'm actually going to try running this one as well. And just avoiding the north. Ooh. That was a nasty wave. Uh, I gotta really be careful of the waves. They can mean my death, and I know that. I've died to them before. So, not allowing that to happen here. Not today, folks. No way. And down he goes. And a fire sword. That's appropriate. Five plats. 
Always nice on those plats. Strong mana pot. And we'll see how many fire swords we have now. Is that number two? Yep, number two this hunt. And got this one now, so perfect. And trying to hit him with both the wand and the SDs, although that doesn't always work out the best. Um, which is really fine. Just means being extra careful for me. And he's going to die just as he gets into this little area. Nice. Um, and actually gives nine stars. Wow. And a spike sword, which I don't know what number of spikes that is this time around. Um, let's see how many. We have three. Okay, so that's number three. And looks like the demon loot's been really well. I got a skull staff because I actually went and killed all the enlightens and stuff when I was waiting for uh, my software to start working again. So that was fun. And 19% to level. That's cool. Just using icicles and gonna switch out to explosions here. Super helpful. Um, I like I always say, I always carry explosions, even if I'm going to an area where there's a really high chance I won't use them. They can just come in such handy situations with multiple targets. And I'm sure any mage who has actually experimented with them and seen the types of damage that they can deal, uh, depending on the targets, would agree. Ooh. And close to 50, okay, 55 great mana potions left. And this demon's almost down. And having to use two avalanches for just a couple of fire elementals, that sucks, as opposed to the uh, one hit knockout. But we get three great mana potions out of him, which is kick ass. And should prolong the hunt. Okay, 53 seconds on that one, so by the end of this demon, uh, we'll be switching our rings, that's for sure. And gotta be close on that bronze amulet too, which is the mana drain of course. Yep, that's only got 21 left on it. So that's getting weaker. And I'm trying not to use too many avalanches as I know that I'm probably gonna have to conserve them for the DL uh, slash demon common and combo and also getting out of here, but you know. All right, so he is super low. Looks like one Frigo should take him in, and it does. Awesome, I don't know what number Fire Axe that is. Number four, sweet. So, several Fire Axes this time around, which is actually somewhat normal behavior for a demon. Oh my god, normal. That is just way too weird for me. And Hopefully this one will come out and play without me having to, yeah, awesome. And of course it brings the Dragon Lord, but I'm going to try to outrun the DL and focus on the demon. Of course, since you have to kind of loop around in this place, that's not really too great of an idea or method, but, but oh well. And just getting avalanches in on both of them. DL's about to go down, and he does, of course, giving nothing. Um, I think last hunt, out of all the DL's I killed, I got a single tower shield, and even that, I was like, wow, how generous. Normally, it's just nothing at all. Um, 
And this is actually a nice situation to be using avalanches in, because that demon is really weak, and he's going to die right around the same time as the Dragon Lord. And a plat. Oh. Of course, no. <sighs> no, no sort of demon dust. Yeah, but that's all right. Two seventeen SDs left, so really not too many. Um, getting real low on those avalanches. But that's okay. Just going to make sure to save some for the way out and clearing the east side here. As that's where they're certainly most needed. Um, and I could see getting blocked up by a couple demons in the southeast and fire elementals and demon skeletons. Um, of course you could rage of the skies, but avalanches are a little more practical overall. And we really don't have many supplies yet, or left, so. Five minutes, 13 charges on that one. So only one bronze amulet this whole time, which uh, I would say some of that is due to using, or fighting hellhounds, but it's not a huge deal. And down that dragon lord goes and onto these DS we are. So I'm going to use explosions just to take them out so they're not in the way during the demon. And there he is. 205 SDs left so we're going to be going under 200 on this one. And I don't know how many icicles left. Oh, okay, only 90. So I'm going to try to mix it up with those and use up those as well. Might as well get as many kills as I can while I'm down here. And I'm looking pr actually a little bit better than I could be with uh, the mana pots situation. Could be much worse. So another fire axe, nice. And a talon. So that's the fifth fire axe. Sweet. And this has only got 10 charges left on it. Full after one mushy. And just do heavy damage to him. And that's what we're going to keep up with just using those SDs around corners, um, which really helps in avoiding their waves. And actually, sidestepping like that just worked out really good for me, surprisingly. Uh, normally, that could be a problem because it slows you down when you do that, as in compared to normal walking, but hey. And another fire sword. Awesome. Two strong mana potions. So that's fire sword number three. Yep, and we're going to have to start throwing... Um, we're going to throw the pirate dolls down. And these spike swords. Okay, no more objects. All right, then. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Hopefully we just get some rares, and when we leave here, certainly profiting this time. Uh, we'll just have to see by how much that is. And, ooh, scary. Right in front of me. Could have done very, very, very heavy damage, as he just did. Um, and got him to yellow already, so... Really not seeming too scary, but he really is. Um, and I'm glad that I've been careful enough to not get a huge enough combo on me by these things to bring me down. Because that's totally possible, unfortunately. Uh, I wish I had more health, but such is the life of a sorcerer. And nice, two strong mana pots in both of them. Uh, another spike sword. 
So that's the fourth spike sword. I'm going to actually throw those up into this BP. And we're going to examine pox and head south. So that bronze necklace should be breaking very shortly. Um, and we're going to message this guy. But 173 SDs left. So it takes, it seems, anywhere from 15 to um, 15 to uh, 10 SDs combined with, of course, icicles and avalanches and stuff. But that's right where it seems to be. And I used um, an energy wave there to kind of get some extra damage in, preserve some avalanches.